for our third Formula One 2019 mid-season review, we are going to be talking about one of the more divisive Formula One characters on the grid. I mean, you all know who it is from the title, Lance Stroll. Let's just say he's not everyone's favourite driver, and quite a few people feel that he doesn't deserve a seat in Formula One. So when we're looking at his... 2019 so far bear that in mind and you know when you're looking through the comments take everything with with a pinch of salt I would say but here I'm going to give you my honest opinions of Lance Stroll so far this season because I don't think he's been dreadful he's not been the best on the grid no he's not been the best on the grid at all but currently he sits in 12th place in the standings ahead of guys such as Kevin Magnussen Nico Hülkenberg, Sergio Perez, and he's only four points behind Daniel Ricciardo. So when you look at it at face value, he's not doing a bad job this season. But look under the covers a little bit more and there's a little bit more of a story to tell. And let's look at it a little bit more deeply. Lance Stroll in qualifying on a Saturday has not been good this year. Arguably, I think actually it's probably fair to say has been one of the worst, if not the worst, man on Saturday this season. You can look at guys like Pierre Gasly, who has been comfortably outperformed by Verstappen this year. You can look at guys like Robert Kubica, who's definitely been off the pace. But Lance Stroll has only gotten into Q2 once this season, and that was in Germany. In every other race this season, he has been out in the very first session in a car, which has got through to Q3 before. Sergio Perez especially early on in the year, was doing very good qualifying performances. But Lance Stroll, yes, he's joined the team this season. It's his first year with Racing Point. However, qualifying has always been a bit of a hindrance in his Formula One career. That being said, this man, not only is he brilliant at looking after his tyres, something that he was definitely not good at in his Williams days, this year he seems to have really got that nailed down. But also, he's awesome at race starts. Well, again, he's, he's almost the op where he's one of the worst guys in quali, he's one of the best on the grid for his race starts. And his opening laps of Grand Prix this year have been fantastic. And what that's allowed the team to do, and with the fact he's starting so far behind, they've been able to do some real crazy strategies. And so far this season, Lance Stroll has had four points finishes, one of them coming in Germany, a fourth place finish, one step off the podium, that's not bad. But as I've said in the last two reviews, it's a bit of an anomaly, is Germany. So we've got to try and ignore that a little bit. However, Stroll on the day did drive a very good race. However, his three other points finishes, they're all ninth place, so that's six points overall, not incredible, but they've all come starting outside the top 15. Which, to be fair to Lance Stroll, I think is a very good job. I mean, when you compare him to his teammate, Perez at the moment is on 13 points. So only five points behind Stroll. But again, that fourth place for Lance Stroll. Fourth place, by the way, gives you 12 points. So that's a hefty, hefty fee that Stroll was able to claim from Germany. But if you take that race away, it, it starts to not look so good. But what did we expect from Stroll this year? Obviously, his father owns the team or owns a big stake in the team. So that's the main reason he got a move from Williams to Racing Point. And a lot of people felt that Perez being an experienced and definitely capable Formula One driver would destroy, in quotation marks, Lance Stroll. I don't think that's necessarily been the case, especially on a Sunday. It's been Stroll, who's generally been the guy making moves going forward. Perez, I definitely think, has been one of his more... Steady seasons in Formula 1 this year and definitely the car hasn't helped and as of late they've had a bit of an upgrade but Hungary is definitely not a circuit that has suited their car over the last few seasons and Germany we keep mentioning. I've got to talk about it, Stroll hasn't been the cleanest of drivers this season and has had a fair few incidents on track with other drivers, Made well, ran into the back of Romain Grosjean at the start of the Bahrain Grand Prix and also had contact with Lando Norris in the Spanish Grand Prix. It's not been the cleanest of runs, but two or three incidents isn't dreadful over 12 races. Out of 10, 
it's a difficult one with Stroll, as it is for most of those guys at the lower down in the midfield, mainly because we don't get to see them a fat lot on the TV, but also because the cars this year have been so mismatched in that one weekend racing point can be best of the rest, like in Azerbaijan. Then you can go to a track like Hungary and they're back with the Williams guys. So I think I'm going to give Stroll a 6 out of 10. Okay, it's not been fantastic, so I'm not going 8s or 9s. 7, I think he hasn't been consistent enough for 7. But I think 6 is nice. He scored big points for the team. That's exactly what he needs to be doing. Slowly get in there on Perez's pace. Not quite there just yet, but it's slowly evolving. And I think for his first half of the year with a new team... That's not a bad job, but I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, we're doing one of these or two of these. We're doing that today every single day, so keep your eye out later on today for the second episode of the day. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.